This is Rap News. Adjust your mental tuning. Hello, fellow children of the Industrial Revolution. We've come of age, but our age seems to be running out of steam. As well as oil, coal, gas, water, and old trees. We face a crisis. In spite of our advancement in science, the ratio of energy expended to energy actually required is rapidly declining. Just as it did for the Romans, Mayans, and the Easter Islanders before they crashed and expired. Has our brief joy ride passed its peak on the axis? And does anyone know how to get off it before it collapses? With not much time left to get some answers, we turn to our leading nations. Speaking for America, General Baxter. Bob, this is an era of toil. We've reached peak oil. We now need more energy to retrieve oil from the soil than we receive from the oil we retrieve, which means more recessions. Prepare for GFC 3. Can we survive this energy crisis? Why, yes. Yes, we American. Obama is wise and far-sighted, and he's about to ratify this futuristic device. A pipe. Yes, the Keystone XL pipeline, to be precise, which will move more crude from Mordor, uh, tar sands, to Isengard, streaming under large tracts of aquifers and farmlands. Is that safe? It's fine. It's only linked 12 times so far, man. We just pay the fines. Right, but how does this solve the peak oil crisis you described? Uh, jobs, Bob. Think of the jobs it will provide. And we'll never depend on foreign oil in the future. You don't want us to have to go to war again, do you? Oh, yeah. You Americans drive at a wall. Uh, here's the next powerful nation to show us the course. China's Minister of Energy. Why so dim? Ni hao, Robert. Thanks for beaming in. How's Beijing? Yeah, pretty great. As you can see, fresh clean air <laughs> to breathe in. Everyone healthy. <laughs> Life amazing. But future safe. I won't need to quit coal now. Profound. And how do you plan to bring that about? By burning up on a chorus wrecked. We call it one call policy. It's total success. So unlike the US, we never need to go to war. What about, what about Tibet? We do hear calls to free Tibet. Correct. For China, Tibet was free. Yeah, so important part of a free energy policy. Make Tibet a colony. Lots of copper, oil, and possibly best combustible fuel of all. Monks in a monastery. We've heard the solutions of the superpowers. What about the super rich? Have they got some newer answers? Our next guests discussing these pressing matters are entrepreneurs Elon Musk and Richard Branson. Yo, Richard! What's really good, Elon? Let's flip the script and show these peons the high-tech shift that we be on. We're beyond. Two debonair billionaires. Rock and recon. Humanity's last best hope for this eon. And yo, Musk. What up? I think it's time that you bust and show the peeps on Earth how it's time to adjust. So check it. Elon Musk live and direct from Mars. I gave the home planet solar panels and Tesla cars. Electrical. Hmm. Ethical, ecological, miracle. Yeah. Super. Charge. Super. Design. Super. Refined. Super. Billionaire. Fueling them with lithium. On fire. Killing them. So it's high time we colonize the solar system then. Hey, yo, Branson. Sir Richard. You ready for action? Born ready. Tell the people of Earth your plan then. Let's get it cracking. We're planning on capturing asteroids with nano droids and then dragging them back in to orbit Earth. So we can mine the fuck out of them. Huh? For cobalt, huh? zinc, huh? gold, huh? platinum. Just suck it out of them and make a quick buck out of them. Isn't that dangerous? What if an asteroid crashed on Earth because you miscalculated this? Unfortunate, but by then I'll have my fortress on Mars. I'll use Virgin Galactic to stay in orbit. So long, suckers. It's good to know we can count on your resourcefulness, guys. What other energy sources can we find? Terrence Moonseed. What's your view of this scene? The Illuminati are suppressing the truth from the feed To lock us in and make it impossible to be free from the class of fast of fool industry But I have one word for you, Robert Free energy! This whole freaking system could readily depend on a blend of Lemurian crystals, alien technology and hemp But the rotten cotton industry conspired to have hemp condemned And the government kept you a full tech for weapons instead And then? Then climate scientists who owe their degrees to industry Invented climate change to make energy fees increase When all energy should be available only for free Global warming is a hoax! Uh, I totally agree Speaking of outlandish solutions for the crisis we're having, Prime Minister of Australia, Tony Abbott. The science is out. Since I assumed this leader position, Australia's heard no bad news from the Climate Commission. Because you abolished it. Because I abolished it. We'll also hear a lot less from the uh, Tarkine Forest and the Reef. Renewable energy. Mining companies. What is this? The ABC? Don't make me cut your funding. Hey, Australia deadly bushfires are part of the deal. And this fake snow in the US is geoengineered to kill. I don't trust climate scientists. They clearly just shill. Curious that opposite sides can believe Climate change, change is not real. We've heard theorems, challenges and thoughts from entrepreneurs, free thinkers and leaders on this forum. Yet time's up and we still seem stalled with no way forward. But wait, we're getting a call on the Jews channeling portal. I'll turn it up. Who's trying to confer with us? Julio. Wait, is that Copernicus? Can you hear me? For certain, but what have you got to say on the energy crisis concerning us? Well, I wrote this book in 1543, in which I proposed the heliocentric theory. Yes, we know. The sun at the center. And the earth moves around it. Revolutionary. But the fools in my day refused to see. Well, it took centuries, but now we do accept it. Yeah, I see you noobs still not quite get it. Which is why I, Copernicus, have returned to state this. State what? You are still living in the Dark Ages. But the second heliocentric revolution is nigh. To 
discern your place in the cosmos you once shifted your mind You must do that again when you think of energy source The sun, not the earth, is at the center of the universe Of course, just as earth revolves around the sun in a cycle So must human life And it must happen at once, it's vital It's your only hope of survival The signal's dying I must go now, other planets need reminding Thank you Copernicus for returning with such force to provide us this urgent advice during this awesome crisis And to our guests, those invited and all who surprised us Now a final thought before we end these tidings Many of our problems do require resource findings, scientific advances, new tools and devices But this crisis requires a realignment of paradigm which has to happen Not in a lab, but in our own minds The second heliocentric revolution has already begun Will we have time to affect this great shift vis-a-vis -vis the sun? Or will we shun our star's light and fall into darkness? Join us next month as we search for more answers